Here we are in our flight test simulator. Behind me on the controls is Buddy Denham, one of our flight test pilots. Buddy was instrumental in the development of the unified control architecture employed on the F-35. Our aircraft is designed to be simple to operate, unlike the complex controls in a helicopter that require both your hands and your feet. We've invested a lot of effort and thought into designing unified controls for this aircraft. That means there is simply one directional controller, or inceptor, and one acceleration controller. With electric motors, you don't need to warm up the engines, just press a button and go. The left stick, or inceptor, controls the aircraft acceleration. The right stick controls our altitude, attitude, and direction. There are no rudder pedals for your feet, and if the pilot lets go entirely, the software is designed to keep the aircraft stable. If the pilot pushes the decelerate to hover shortcut button, the aircraft automatically brings itself into a hover over the target landing zone. What we're demonstrating here is that we've developed a system that makes the aircraft really easy to fly. If you try and do something unexpected, the system doesn't let that happen. By automatically managing various flight functions, we're able to materially reduce pilot workload, mitigate common failure scenarios, and leave the pilot free to focus on the mission. It has taken a tremendous amount of work from an incredible team to develop this system but it is so vitally important to the overall safety of our operations and provides a great example of the advanced technologies and capabilities that we've been able to develop, test, and mature by being the first electric VTOL company.